We've been in Nova Scotia for like 50 meters and chickens Don't in the road. Don't look too safe. This is the main road that goes into Nova Scotia, okay? This is it. <laughs> it's this town right here. Chickens! Is there at least like a New Brunswick sign on the other side? I don't know if that's the main road. It's one of the roads. Okay, well, they got a nice looking bridge over there. Done, eaten, one is still going. No. This is our first real town, Nova Scotia. Pugwash. Pugwash. Yeah. There it is. You want to wash some pugs? I mean, you know, it's, it's, quaint. it's quaint. It's quaint. It ain't, where it ain't bad. Now, if you have corgis, too bad. You will never wash them. I'm so sorry. Alrighty, so we have a change of plans here. We're actually gonna skip Cape Breton Island because Just too, yeah, too much time, too much driving, and yeah. I don't think we can make it to Halifax. It would just be like a real rush, and if we do Cape Breton Island, we would miss out on a number of activities yeah, so in and around we're, Halifax. We're skipping that. We're staying just before Halifax, and then we're gonna try to do an amphibious vehicle tomorrow. If we're lucky. I am zoomed in. Zoom more. Zoom more? That's that's 9x. He's looking at us. That's as close as we can get. Sheet Harbor. Apparently, they made paper. Oh, right. Yeah, that's why it's Sheet Harbor. Yes. <laughs> that's the waterfall there. And it kind of splits into two. It goes under there. A lot of construction around it. There's these birds, they're just like whizzing by constantly here. I think this might be like primo feeding grounds for birds. <laughs> Look at them, non-stop. Seriously, crazy. I don't know if this qualifies as Sheets Harbor, but there is a boat and there is the- Indian dock and there are flats. Oh, that looks fun. Well, that's the harbor and that's is there anyone on that? That's like a that's like a wild balloon. It looks like a Lapras. What the hell? Mushaboom. You said you liked fog, yeah? Well, there is a limit to everything. It's fun, right? Like you never know what you're gonna find. This is, this is a little spooky. Spooky? Yeah. That's the ocean. Kind of. Oh, I see the bunny. I see him. There he is. Yeah, that's a big ass bunny. All right, all right. Look, it's a nice park and all. It looks severely haunted, but we are literally the only people in this thing. 
Warning, remove valuables and lock vehicle before leaving unattended. What the hell? Okay, this thing is not a small park. It's pretty massive. Okay, I got a boardwalk just for us. This is scary. This is... No, no joke, this is like... Spooky. <laughs> it's okay guys, we found, we found some shoes. It's fine. See? No, it's not fine. Yes. Where are the shoes? owners of the shoes? They probably walked here. It's, it's fine. And then left their shoes there. Wait. Okay, let's check out the beach. Look. The water is coming yeah, through. Here. What? Like nothing. Ah. <laughs> oh, look, yes. Influenza. Yes. Awesome. All right, dude, look how broken this tree is. So that's the tree. That part snapped in two pieces and it's still stuck to that one. And I'm pretty sure this is the rest of the tree. What the hell? If something comes out of the water and jumps at me, I need you to put down the camera and come and save me. But what if it's like a great white shark? It's the ocean. It's not going to be a shark. It's probably going to be like some never seen before, <laughs> like reptile. someone there see I told you yeah in the fog without the car yes but, you know serial killers have to start somewhere you know let me remind you the shoes oh yeah should we run should we run to the car now is this a Blair Witch Project situation I don't know, that looks like a tablet in the window, but who knows? That's our campsite. And so, there. This is ocean. Ocean on that side. Ocean on that side. With perilous drop if you don't like anyone. And then ocean on that side. Not bad. So they have like this deck thing and a bench. Someone has some very nice rocks. But like... What if you sit on the corner there and have a little bit too much to drink? Uh-oh. If I smell kimchi on the bed, you are walking home. It's not that far. <laughs> yeah, it's only about 2,000 kilometers. Good morning. Good morning. This is our view. Where are the waves? Well, you can kind of see the rest, like the water, because it's not like raining constantly anyway. But it's still a bit of fog, blurs the horizon a bit. It's nice though. And on the left, you can see the ocean, trust me. It's yes, there. this is an incredible <laughs> drive. It's, uh, it's slightly less gray than the sky, that's, that's the Atlantic. Uh, we are heading to Halifax for the Harbor Hopper which is an amphibious vehicle tour through the land and the water, and a few sites along the way. Nice. Yeah, this is Seal Cove in Ships Harbor. I don't Nova see Scotia. any seals, though. I don't know. So that's where we came from. And on the other side is land and only a few hundred meters. You just can't see it because of the fog. And this is Seal Cove in Ships Harbor. You can, you can see some of the land there. I think it's only like like 100 meters on the other side. It's nothing. <laughs> Crazy fog. So we're at Memory Lane, 40s Heritage Village. It is pretty cool, but. It is closed. You know, with these trips, you can't really 
plan like four or five days ahead of time. We're off by half an hour, but we gotta get going to Halifax. This guy's got a wetsuit. It looks like a pro surfer. None of the chumps we got earlier. All right, you got this, bro. You got this. Yeah, that's a good wave. That's a good wave. Okay. Jump in it. Here we go. There we go. There we go. All right, that's a good form. Good form. And he's off the board. Well, at least he didn't take a wave to the face like that other dude. <laughs> so, I guess, you know, we have to give him credit. Okay. He's gonna try to... Alright, don't bite it. Uh, okay, see? No weight to the face. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I'm sure it's not easy to begin with. And this guy's not taking waves to faces, so I think I think he's good. I think I think he knows what he's doing. I'm obviously no expert uh, wave rider here. I think this one is it. That's pretty good! That's pretty good! Okay, here's where everyone's coming from. Okay, maybe the guy wasn't such a pro because of the wetsuit, but I, I still stand by his performance. I think he did pretty well. He did, he did pretty well. 